Okay, so today we're going to talk about how to use EasyBib to cite your source once you found a copyright um, friendly image. So as you can see, I'm on Wikimedia Commons, and I'm look I looked for a picture of force, and I found a picture that I like right here. I'm going to look at the picture. First thing I notice is that it's public domain, so I know that it's okay for me to use it. I'm going to go ahead and click on that link because it's going to give me some more information. So here's the picture, and here's the information about it. Now I'm going to go to EasyBib, and remember when you go to EasyBib, first thing you need to do is find where it is going to allow you to cite based on what kind of file you have. So I don't have a website, a book, a newspaper, a journal, or a database that I'm trying to cite, so I'm going to go to the other options. From here you're going to find the kind of file that you have. So I have a digital image, so I'm going to click on digital image. Now once you get here, remember that EasyBib is easy because you fill in what you know. If I don't know all of the information here, it's okay. EasyBib will fill in the rest. I just fill in what I have. It is also important to remember if you're struggling with, well, do I need to put this piece of information in? I don't know if it's necessary. You can't put too much in. So if you have a piece of information and you think it might be important, go ahead and put it in if it's one of these boxes. Don't worry about putting too much in. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my file. Now, for, for the title, I don't, it's not like a painting where there's a <clears throat> you know beautiful title given to it, but there is a file name. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this file name and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to put it as the title. Okay, and then the next thing it asks for is a description. And it says if there's not an official title to describe it. Now on my picture, there happens to be a description right here. If you find a picture and there's not a description, just kind of make up your own. Describe the picture in your own words. Since I'm lucky and I have a description, I'm going to copy it and use their description that they have given it. Now when I come down here to author, I don't there's not an author. It says that it was uploaded by MFP, but I don't really know who that is. So I'm going to leave that part blank. Um, website title, I got it from Wikimedia Commons over here you can see. So wherever you got your, is it, if it's Flickr, um, if it's somewhere like that, then you just give the website title. So I'm going to put Wikimedia Commons. I don't know the publisher or the sponsor, but I do have the URL. So I'm going to come up to the top of this and I'm going to copy that URL. I'm going to place it right here. Um, right here it has an option to display the URL. You want to display the URL, so make sure that yes is checked. I think the default is no, so you might have to change it. Down here it says electronically published. If you have the date that it was electronically published, that's fantastic. Add it in. Sometimes the date's not there. Um, we're lucky in that we can see the first time, or I'm sorry, the current date of publish is right here, June 4th, 2006. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in. And then the date accessed is today. You can just click that little dot right there and it will put it in there for you. So to review, I've got my file title, which I got from the title of the image. I've got a description, which I got because they had it on Wikimedia Commons. But if you find a picture that doesn't have a description, that's okay. Just describe it in your own words. I've got the website title, the URL. I want to leave the URL in the in the citation, so I'm going to leave it checked as yes. I put the date it was published because it was available. If it's not available, it's okay. And then the date accessed. And now I'm just going to click Create Citation. And it's easy peasy, just like the name says. So here's your citation, and now you would just copy this citation and put it wherever you need to put it. I hope that that was easy for you. Feel free to rewatch the video if needed. Thank you.